we don't believe that it's advisable to go in in a major way in Rafa without a proper, ex executable, effective, and credible plan um, for the safety of the more than a million Palestinians that are taking refuge in Rafah. They've, they've left the north, and they certainly went south out of Khan Yunus to try to get out of the fighting. So Israel has an obligation to make sure that they can protect them. We don't want to see any forced relocation of people out of Gaza. The, that's home for the Palestinian people. Well, again, that's something that we, we, we have and will continue to discuss with counterparts in the region, but, but it's home to those folks. That's Gaza's home. Um, and they shouldn't be forced to leave Gaza if they don't want to leave. Now, if there's going to be operations in Rafa or around Rafa, the Israelis have a commitment, an obligation to make sure uh, that they can provide for the safety of innocent Palestinian, the innocent, innocent pal Palestinian people that are there. We haven't changed uh, in, in terms of our desire to see an extended pause uh, so that we can get all the hostages home with their families where they belong, so we can get additional security assistance in, and we can see a reduction in the violence. We are still focused on trying to get an extended humanitarian pause. I'm asking about a permanent pause. I know what you're asking. We're, what I'm saying is we support and continue to support an extended humanitarian pause. We, we sadly don't have a whole lot of specific information about where each of the hostages are who's holding them, and in what condition they might be. And sadly, we have to accept the possibility that some of them are, are no longer alive. We just don't have uh, terrific granularity on, on that.